welcome to another episode from keyboard hitter in this episode i am going to show you how you can download mysql installer and can install mysql server 5.7.18 on windows 32 bit or 64 bit operating system so let's not waste time let's get started the url is given there in the description below you just need to go to this URL and access this page here if you scroll down you have option to download MySQL installer 5.7.18 now you can see both the versions are for Windows 32 bit but do not worry if you scroll up you'll get to see note from MySQL and there they have written MySQL installer is 32 bit but will install both 32 bit and 64 bit operating system so do not worry about it just go ahead and download it will support for 32 bit and 64 bit both now before you proceed to activate your account you need to sign up so you can see i have already signed up uh, register with my personal details so you can also do same and once you do so once you click on this download option it will not ask you to sign up and it will directly start downloading the msi installer and if you don't want to register still continue that also you can do but in that case your account will not be activated so just hit this download button and you will get to see the msi start downloading okay sorry this one uh, not this one you need to download uh, the second file which is of 4058 mb this is the complete file okay now here in this video i'm not going to download the entire software which is of 406 mb so to save uh, time i have already downloaded uh, this software so let's go ahead and start the installation process so you can see I have already downloaded my SQL installer community 5.7.18 so this is basically the installer which will let you download and install I mean you have already down downloaded it so it will let you install the different components or different applications of MySQL such as MySQL server you can install workbench and all and all so here you can see you'll get to see such page and this is my SQL installer so you can here you can add remove all the packages or application of MySQL you can say so hit the add button and here we have option for MySQL server and we'll select uh, mysql server 5.7.18 for 64 and we'll hit this button and we want this software to get installed on this machine i'll hit the execute and it will start installing it so it will take some time i'll be back once this is completed okay so this is completed so we'll hit the next button and this will say ready to configure we'll hit the next button as well so okay stand alone micro mysql server will hit the next button again so this is type and networking yeah developing machine so we'll keep these settings as it is we'll hit the next button now here it is asking for mysql root password so you can give password as per your choice i'll give uh, my own okay okay so it's showing weak so i'll change the password okay so it's good to go and we can hit the next button you should remember the root password because this will be required later on okay now this is about the service information uh, startup yeah that's good looks good and hit the next button enable x protocol mysql as a document store no not needed we'll hit the next button and uh, this will uh, you know hit the execute button so this process will go on and one by one it will install everything configure everything and it will keep on checking this uh, items one by one so here it may take some time so again i'll be back once this is completed 
so seems like uh, configuration completed so we'll hit the finish so we'll hit the next button and finish so installation is completed uh, so we are back to the installer page now uh, we can see the ms sql server which was not there initially now we can see it's already been installed and we can again click on this reconfigure link and we can reconfigure the settings port number password and all and all so this is how you should install microsoft i mean my sql server 5.7.18 for windows 64-bit uh, now it's time to check that whether installation uh, successfully occurred or not okay so let's go ahead and check so if you uh, go to the start menu and if you search with mysql so you'll get to see that mysql command line is now available for you and also we will uh, try to see that whether the mysql service is up and running or not so we'll search with uh, service and we'll see view local services and uh, we will check whether the mysql service is running or not yeah mysql uh, 5 7 yeah we can see it's running so seems like mysql server 5.7.18 successfully installed on my machine and the server is up and running so we can actually use the mysql database we can create database we can create a model and all so now as we have installed mysql server 5.7.18 so it will be obviously good to have an interface through which uh, will be access uh, the database or basically we can say we need to have a GUI okay or, or graphical user interface for accessing MySQL server so in the next video I'll be talk about uh, talk about uh, MySQL workbench so this MySQL workbench uh, provides you an interface using that you can actually access MySQL database which you have installed on your machine so that's it for now i hope you like this video if you find this video helpful so please do like and share and please put your comments down in the comment section and i'll come up with all the queries if you have any and please subscribe keyboard hitter for more such upcoming tech tutorials so that is it for now i'll be back with another episode from keyboard hitter so till then stay tuned and keep watching thank you very much have a good day.